So doing a little fishing report on the Sacramento River and the Delta today. Uh, right now I'm on the Sac River at Knight's Landing. Uh, they got the boat launch pulled up right now. And the striping guy, striper fishing guys is going to get really good after the storm. The water temperatures are in the low 50s. And this, this rain right here is going to bring these stripers into the more shallow water and all into the Delta and up to the river streams. But before I get into the striper report um, in more detail, I want to go over real quick um, what's going on with the red mussels and the Delta. Um, it's very urgent and they are telling people at Berryessa to clean your boats off uh, really, really good. Wash them off with soap and let them uh, dry out completely. Uh, your bilge pumps, bone dry, everything dry. Um, so these mussels can't transport from body to the water. And it looks like they came from an international ship uh, into the delta and it looks like they are they're invasive they're non-native uh, in california but in china and asia they are a uh, native species they're non-invasive there um, so that's obviously where they came from and they're trying to figure out the problem right now um, so just make sure you, you don't cause any more problems just if you launch your boat in any body of water right now uh, they're asking uh, to wait five days and to clean your boat thoroughly um, just completely clean it up with some soap and let it get bone dry uh, before you enter it in any other body of water all right and if you're going out right now i'll keep an update on the red mussels um, just keep your boat really clean uh, don't make it more of a problem don't spread it uh, just try and clean everything off if you're dropping your boat in the water and not just your boat guys um, if you're out in the delta you got to clean all your equipment you got to clean your boat you got to clean your village pump um, your trailer everything that's touched the water you got to clean um, so just just make sure you clean up real good right now uh, until until cdfw gets rid of this problem and uh hopefully these waters uh, don't get infected um and get better soon uh because these striper guys are coming up and it's going to be a good fall run this year and even better spring run uh, when they come up the river to spawn all right i'm under this tree right here and uh, i'm still getting wet out here guys i was going to try to wet a line uh see if i could hook a striper but typically having big storms like this the water gets really um, dirty and uh it's just messed up to fish um, right after the storm so usually after the storm wait a few days but these striper are going to be pushed in um, remember the striper have five senses kind of like we do um so when it's muddy like this they use their other senses uh they can't see very good striper are very nearsighted so uh they don't have the best vision anyways so they do use other senses uh when it's storming like this um so a lot of noise a lot of scent is uh really good for these times when right after the storm so moving around and stuff uh in the storms is your best bet it's going to give you a much more of a chance of landing a fish right now uh, because these stripers they are on the move right now um, whenever this water temperature changes like this uh, it actually makes the fish more active uh, they try to they kind of scatter and they're trying to get in some bait bait fish and bait um, because they're trying to fill their bellies uh, these are extremely predatorial fish and they will do whatever it takes uh, to get on some some uh, some meals so uh, just keep that in mind whenever you're striper fishing these stripers are going to be in the shallow guys right now um, so go where the currents less and where where you think there might be bait fish holding out of the storm uh, a few good locations are going to be somewhere around sherman island right now is usually really good around this time of year uh, because it's it's shallow around that area and when it floods floods like this the water gets really murky and dirty and it's hard for those stripers to feed so what they're gonna do is they're gonna go they're gonna use their smell sense stripers have two senses of smell one is on their on their lines on their scales scales and then another is those they have which is pretty cool so they could sense things really really good um, so you're gonna want to use some real loud uh, poppers something on the top or something you know sub submerged just just under the top and get that scent on there if you're throwing baits and stuff make sure it's real real stinky uh, that's going to be your best bet in these in these times like this or bait 
Uh, bait's good, uh, cut bait's good. Live bait is gonna be your best bet for bait because right now, this is what these stripers are looking for. They're looking for the minnow, the shad, all the bait coming up the river right now to do the same thing that they're doing. They're trying to get away, they're trying to go in the calm, uh, out of the current and into the shallow where they could have a, a decent time and be comfortable. These fish are always looking to be comfortable. And another thing is, uh, when you're out there looking for striper, always look at the conditions uh, surrounding you and just pay attention to everything around you. And always try different locations. Just because one location's not good one day, the next day it might be really hot. Uh, so the, just remember, these stripers are always, always on the move. And uh, once you find them, usually these guys are in schools and uh, you're gonna land quite a few, at least uh, some schoolies or even even the big guys, they roll in packs too. So uh, just keep in mind, just always uh, observe your surroundings. Uh, sometimes I write stuff down and just to mark areas uh, on your phone or in your mind and just kind of map it out. Cause when this water gets real high like this, uh especially bank fishing all the locations are different i mean uh let's take a look here see all these water and everything all this crap in the water all your locations on the bank they've all changed so everything's a lot different so if you could remember what the water looked like on a drought when the water's really low um it's really really beneficial to you um that way you kind of know where you're fishing if there's structure always look for structure around if you don't know how to look for structure um on the banks here you're always going to look for like this tree right here see this tree i guarantee out here there's going to be some more wood and stuff like that so always look for tattletale signs for stuff on the bank um that's going to tell you a lot about what's going on and as you can see i don't know if you can see that far but the dam right here is blowing it's blasting a bunch of water and you can see foam a lot of times this river will have a bunch of foam in it and uh that's all that is guys is just just a bunch of foam just floating down the river right there and uh the river is going to get higher and higher and higher this is just this is just the beginning of the storm um, so if you guys are going out on the water on a boat, I would be very, very careful right now, especially if you're going to the Delta. Stay safe out there, guys. Uh, if you're going out fishing anytime, like I do, I like to catch uh, some fish in the storm right now. But uh, usually a little break in the storm is good. Uh, I got my fishing pole. I might cast a few, few casts out right now, but the water's just tore up right now, guys. So if you're out here, always remember after a storm, there's gonna be a bunch of debris and crap in the water. Uh, so always stay safe and uh, just be observant. Always look for your around your uh, surroundings. Nice landing boat launch. During the storm. Look at this thing, they pulled this thing way up. That's probably about where the water's gonna end up right there and it was way down uh just a few weeks ago this thing was all the way down to the very end um now it's got full water so if you guys are trying to launch some bigger boats at night landing uh after the storm it's all good because the water's going to be real deep as you can see and uh, also remember after these storms um they open all the drains they're letting all the water out of all the levees and everywhere so uh we don't get any problems. So just remember the water current is extremely, extremely strong. Um, so it's really important to think like a fish, uh, think like a striper in these kind of weather, and just think about what you would do. Um, you would probably try to go somewhere where it's shallow, not so uh, high current, and somewhere where you could still feed and just be protected out of this current. Um, so they're gonna be tucked in the shallows guys right now. Um, they are moving in, but this storm kind of scatters them out, scatters them around, and uh, they're, they're always searching for the bait fish. So with striper, um, you're going to want to see what they're eating, try to find out what they're eating, and find locations of where you are catching bait fish. Uh, if you're catching bait fish, most likely there's going to be stripers in the area. 
Uh, so I would recommend if you're not catching anything to move locations and you don't have to move far. I'm just talking about 30 feet or so, um, just moving around. It's crazy right now. Uh, this is just the beginning here. It's Friday around three o'clock and it uh, looks like the storm is gonna last a few days, uh, maybe more. Uh, I'll show you guys a radar here. It looks like we may have a little break um, coming up tomorrow on Saturday. Stray waterfall from the parking lot. <laughs> 